You've had the main course, but what's a meal without dessert? Joining me now is French pastry chef and the man behind Petitou Petisserie, Laurent Chochron, that took me a minute to learn. Thank you so much. This looks fantastic. I was actually at a French restaurant in Mara's Arch um, during Bastille Day and I had some, some lovely treats, but oh my word, this is so, this is so amazing. So welcome to the show and tell us what you have here. So I brought you a little selection of the, the cakes that we do. We at Patachou Patisserie, we based on French, typical French cakes. Mm -hmm. So all of those cakes that you see here, you can see them in France. You can ask for the same cake and that's what they will serve in a proper patisserie shop in Paris. So what does that mean? So all the ingredients that, um, that you are using currently are all exported or grown no. here or how does it work? <laughs> that's where the challenge is. Okay. We're making French cakes with South African products. Oh wow, amazing. So the challenge is to get the same result with products that are completely different. Here you have some petit fours. So they are cocktail cocktail bites. Mm -hmm. So we use local fruits, local flour, mm -hmm. local butter, everything is locally Take made. Take us through some of the favorite um, savories or desserts that um, are liked in France and are likely to be eaten or enjoyed today when, you know, when the, you lose or you win. Yes. yes. <laughs> Hopefully you win. As we speak now, uh -huh. at this time of the day, people would be eating croissant or mm -hmm. pain au chocolat for breakfast mm -hmm. and coffee. And then later on for dessert, um, probably uh, Saint Honoré mm -hmm. or Eclair. The Eclair is very, is very traditional and famous all over the place, mm -hmm. all over France. Yeah, I remember eating that one as a, as a child. Now, a Macron, am I saying it right? Macron? Macaron. Macaron. Be careful. Macron mm -hmm. is our president. Oh, wow. <laughs> macaron, <laughs> macaron is, is something macaron based with coconut. Macaron, macaron. Okay. is something based about with coconut. Mm -hmm. This is a macaron. Okay. Macaron. Okay, it's tell based, us about it. So it's a almond meringue mm -hmm. uh, that we bake. It has to be soft in the middle. And this one right here is filled with cream and uh, strawberries to bring some freshness. So you can actually it. play around with it because I've seen very plain ones. I've never seen one that is. Yes, if tomorrow you call me and you say, listen, Laurent, I want something with rose and violet or chocolate. We just change the mix. Are you getting a lot of orders currently from people who um, are particularly today wanting to celebrate with some French um, cuisine or desserts? Um, yes, yes, we, we get order every day, but especially for by still day. The, the biggest was yesterday because we were supplying the French embassy and the French consulate for the event with cocktail bites. So there was a lot of work this weekend. All right, I think we've gotten up to Eclairs and we talked about macaroon. Yes, the right. religious. So tell us about the, the rest of the stuff that you have for us today. You can mm. see that, right? Yeah. This is a French style cheesecake. Mm -hmm. So. Differently from the South African way or the English way, we don't bake this one. This is made of a fresh um, cheese cream uh, mousse. Mm -hmm. And so this one is like um, lemon flavored with a pistachio biscuit inside and a berry insert. Looks divine. You have a lemon, uh, lemon meringue. And this is a opera. This is a? Opera. There's another word for it, I think. Um, is it the one with the uh, light, flaky um, chocolate biscuits? Um, no? Is it no, not? No, this not will the be more the triumph. Napoleon, I think lots of people uh, like to refer to that. It's not this one. It's Similar. close but different, okay. yes. All right, so what goes into that <clears throat> this one? This one is uh, all about coffee. Coffee, almond, ah. and chocolate. So you have layers, thin layers. You can see the thin layers. Mm -hmm. So there's uh, almond. Almond biscuit soaked with coffee, you got a coffee cream, another biscuit, a layer of chocolate. And there's uh, about 10 layers in that small cake and it all comes in your mouth. When all you right, so you're leaving that behind, right? When you, when you, um, when you take all your stuff. I'm giving you all of it. <laughs> Yay, all of it, fantastic. And this, this is hazelnut and um, milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. So we have a hazelnut biscuit at the bottom a milk chocolate mousse, a milk chocolate whipping cream, 
on top. All right, fantastic. And the last one, is that is that gold dust or something that's sprinkled and that's on there? A, yes, gold dust mm -hmm. and a little piece of uh, edible gold. Okay. So what, what is that? What do you call that dessert? We call it the Triomphe. Mm -hmm. It's layers of chocolate biscuit soaked with chocolate syrup and chocolate mousse. All right. So if people want to learn how to make, you know, typical French desserts, you know, where do they start? I mean, do you have a website page or we, a social media page where you actually website. share, you know, re uh, recipes and how would they go about it? I'm open to share my recipes, <laughs> but uh, some of them are so complex with so many steps mm -hmm. that for someone to start it from scratch, it would take hours. Mm -hmm. um, but there's more simple things that can be done at home, like the eclairs. Mm -hmm. Eclairs can be done at home. It will take a lot of practice and some so that you have like to throw away. It's not like whipping up a pancake or anything like that. It's more no, complex than that. No, no, no. It's <laughs> much more complex. You have to. There's a. You have to have the hand for it. Yes. Okay. The hand that you get with training. And then, and then what do we have here? I mean, these uh, are they, are they smaller versions of what we have on the table? Absolutely. Okay. So those are perfect for cocktails mm -hmm. or functions or. It's much. I mean, wh why baking for you? Why did you choose this career and this path? Um, I was supposed to study medicine. And wow. one day my parents went to a chocolate show in Paris. I'm from Reunion Island, so it's quite far. They okay. went to Paris, brought back those chocolates, and we had a tasting at home. And I was, it clicked. It clicked. And I was like, this is what I want to do later. I want to be a chef. Simply from the test, I mean, from medicine to baking? Yes, six months before my trick, it clicked, changed. And South Africa, why South Africa? I'm from an uh, island yeah. which is hot, so I couldn't wear, uh, bear the cold in Europe. Uh -huh. um, South Africa is also closer to home, but I wanted to be overseas, to be almost like an ambassador, mm -hmm. not in a political mm -hmm. way, but in a cultural way. In a so sweet and, and savory way. <laughs> yes, bringing to people what we French people do, bringing our culture yeah. to, to people that maybe will never go to France. Fantastic. We're out of time. What is your prediction for the, today's game? France, of course. Yeah, <laughs> of course. How many scores? What scores? What are I think uh, a little 2-1. 2-1. Two 2-1. One. Two one. Okay. Two one. That's not bad. 2-1. Right. Thank Keep you so suspense. much. Thank you so much for your time. Thank and, you very uh, much. And you can leave all of this behind. Thank you so much. I will. And there was